Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stain Gamers, and welcome. So after having a look in the workshop and seeing Sectan's latest modification that brought the Terminator character model into the game, I was quite excited, and I thought it'd be really cool to have a mess around and build a few ships from Terminator. Now, one of my favourite ships from the Terminator was the Hunter Killer series. Now, you saw this in Terminator 3 when they were at the lab, and you also saw this in later versions of Terminator where they actually have a much bigger version. You don't actually see the micro smaller drones, but I thought I'd build them both anyway because they're quite fun. Now, the first drone I want to show you is the Hunter Killer model. Now, this was the small and probably what was in an experimental stage at the beginning of the activation of Skynet. So you can see we've got the thrusters on both sides that have the ability to be rotated, so this can actually go at a much higher speed across long distance. We've got also two Gatling gun turrets along the bottom, and in the movie, we actually have rocket pods that extend out of the wings, but I couldn't actually fit them within the design. But this is a really nice and small, compact sort of drone ship. I'll compare it to the character size for you as well. You can see it's not as small as the one in the movie, but it's just the limitations we've got to work with in Space Engineers. So I'm going to pop that open, and we're going to see if we can actually remote control this. Now, I will warn you, controlling it from a different camera angle like this is quite difficult. So we've got the control block. We've got everything activated, we've got the camera, and we're just going to turn on the thrusters. So the thrusters are on, we can actually start moving this thing. And it just moves so much like the drone did in the actual movie itself when it drifts back and forward. So if we access the camera, we can actually see myself there, and we can control this just a little bit better. We can bring the engines up. We've also got control of the Gatling guns, so we can actually rapidly fire and take out what we need. It's just, it's just such a fun little drone to have a look at. Let's see if we can switch back to the spectator camera without crashing this thing. So back to F8. There we go, you can see that it's actually hovering there. I will try and switch the engines around, but I believe we've got to be travelling at quite a bit of speed for it to actually function successfully. So let me just switch back to F9. I should be able to have control of my little ship, bring it up into a little bit more altitude, back to the camera if we can. Okay, now it's coming up. We can actually switch over these engines. So when I actually switch over these engines, what I'm going to do is activate the engines as well, and they'll be on a full burn, so we'll get maximum speed out of them. So I'm actually taking this for a little bit of a test drive now. Do be aware though, I am flying it from the spectator camera at the moment and it is rather difficult to work out your angles and reverse sort of trajectories. So we're back to nine. We we'll actually bring it into a little bit of a hover here and then turn it around. So there we go. Nice little bit of a tilt on. Perfect. Let's bring the tilt forward and then we'll bring it back towards the camera. So it is really easy to control even though we've got such minimalist sort of thrusters. We can do a bit of Gatling gun fire as well. As we drift off back to the camera, we'll switch back to the camera there itself. Very nice indeed. Let's see if we can drift this around and do it into a bit more of a sharper turn. There we go. Back to Spectator and bring it up. So we've taken a look at the smaller Hunter Killer drone, but we've got the much larger one here that's got the rocket pods and it's got automated Gatling turrets underneath for easy sort of picking off of targets. Absolutely lovely. You can see the size is much more menacing and quite scary as well. So if we actually switch over to the camera, I've not added it to the menu, so we'll just drop that in quickly and we'll press 3. We actually have control of the rockets, so we can destroy that. I'll switch back to that. You can see some of the rockets going in. Very nice indeed. Very beautiful. Let's find some more rockets. Not a super amount of damage, but I think we could add to this and make it a little bit more devastating. So back to 3. And we'll see if we can fly this a little bit more efficiently. Since it's got them larger engines, it can pull and move a lot faster, and it can stop a lot faster as well. So let's actually bring this into a little bit of a tilt. And they work a lot like helicopters where you've got to move them in such a way, tilting them forwards and backwards to get them moving in that direction. So back to F8, you can see as it's drifting off in that direction. But the shape and sort of styling of these I'm just really liking at the moment. So I really enjoyed building these sort of drones from Terminator. They were really fun and I'm going to stick them up in the form of blueprints. They require no mods, so just stick them in your world and you can have a little bit of Terminator fun for yourself or you can develop your own drones from them. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you